good, Kitten Internet. Uh, we're back. I have leveled everybody up to 18, as I had said I was going to do in the last episode. I think I might have said 16 by accident last episode, but I had meant 18. Basically, we have very few characters now who are not level 18 with 1 XP. Uh, it's just the quick way that I'm leveling characters. Um, so, a couple of things I wanted to talk about. Uh, first off, uh, up above my head at the moment is the full collection of archers in Archer Force 2, at least unless if one of the last two characters are archers, which, knowing this, both of them are, I don't know. Um, so there's a couple of things I wanted to point out, and this right here is actually what I want to point out. So Elric is definitely the worst archer of our party. Um, again, these are stats assuming using the best equipment available. Which Elric I even has equipped. No. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, Elric has a ball ring equipped. So yeah, Elric has the one of the lower forms of attack of any of our archers. Uh, in fact, Kazin, who we booted out of our party a while back because he's a terrible archer, is basically Elric with less hit points and more agility. Ah, uh, yeah, Elric's terrible. Unfortunately, so were the rest of our snipers. Um, well, take a look at Taya for a brass gunner. Keep in mind, Taya was promoted at level 20, not 24, because Taya is pre-promoted. Um, looking at this, you can easily tell that, like, yeah, Taya has more hit points than Slade. That's it. Taya's like 14 points behind him on agility. Taya's 18 points behind him on defense. 16 points behind him on attack. Taya's terrible. Which is sad because I like Taya's sprite. Um, but these two, uh, Tyrant's not too bad actually. Uh, you'll notice he has 74 attack, which is the same as Chester. In fact, if we compare Chester to Tyrin, uh, Tyrin has three less agility. Eight, less, eight fewer hit points, sorry. Three fewer agility. Actually, that one might be... Three f less agility, eight fewer hit... English is weird. Anyway, um, the same attack, but also 14 better defense. So those hit points don't matter as much when you have a much higher defense. In fact, outside of our Brass Gunner, as in Slade... Uh, Tyrin actually has the best defense of any of our snipers, so I'm actually thinking about bringing Tyrin in and booting out Elric. Um, similarly, comparing between Tyrin and Eric is hilarious. Eric is strictly worse than Tyrin. Keep in mind, they were both given to us at the same time in the same place. Um... Eric has lower attack. Keep in mind, the stats that you see over in Shining Force 2 land right now, that's unequipped, so there's no weapon, so that's why the attack's lower. But anyway, or so much lower, but two fewer attack, and yes, that is correct. 19 lower defense, four lower agility. So yeah, I'm thinking that it's time for Elric to leave the force. Yeah. Um, I'm just giving the power ring to Tyrin for the time being. I'm not Probably not going to keep it on him, but I'm just trying to move everything over. Okay. So Tyrin's going to be joining the force out of this, and Elric's going to go back. Let's go ahead and unfilter. Move Tyrin. Uh, let's see, that's oops, cut to the force order 14. So it goes there. Tyrin. Cut, Force Order is 18. Goes there. There we go. Okay, so we've got that. Next up, let's go talk about our tanks. So, in this case, it's going to be Baron Red Baron, uh, Paladin, uh, Wolf Baron, Monster, 
robot. And I'm trying to call out the actual names rather than using their acronyms because, as Candace pointed out, uh, that would have been a couple of days ago now for me. Or maybe one day ago. Um, the game never actually tells you what the acronyms stand for. Uh, Gladiator. So these should be our theoretical tanks. These are the characters that are going to have the highest defenses of our party, and... Oh, oh dear, that's really bad defense from these three. Uh, four. Uh, to be honest, Higgins' defense is abysmal. We shouldn't even consider him. Um, which is strange, because Paladins usually have fairly good defense. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so yeah. What we, I wanted to have was to have two minimum tanks. And we absolutely have the two best tanks, unless if you pay attention to Peter. So Peter's grown up quite a bit. Um, remember that Peter used to be in, you know, like 10 hit point range when everybody else was in the 20s or 30s. Peter can it almost has as many hit points as some of our archers now. Um... But that defense, yo, I think we only have Master Monks that are better. Um, the attack is terrible, though. And if we look instead at who has the best attack, once more, it's Randolph and Janet. Um, which kind of makes sense. Monsters frequently don't have as high attack, because it's basically... Tortoises, so Tort, which is what uh, Peter is, unpromoted, have really crappy attack growth. They basically have crappy stat growth of everything other than defense. They're useful as a tank and nothing more. Um, which means that leveling them up as... Or, leveling up as Tortoise gives them more defense, whereas leveling them up as Monster gives them more attack. We leveled up Peter to 24, but just like um, Janet and Randolph... But Peter was a tortoise at the time. He doesn't have very good levels. So, we would expect higher defense and lower attack, which is what we see. We're consistent. Hooray. Um, these four are all pre-promotes. Which means that they got promoted level 20. They should be roughly four-ish stats off on all stats. And taking a look at... Well, let's ignore Higgins. Um, taking a look at Jaro, for instance... Jaro would have about 75 hit points, which is about the same as Randolph. Uh, Jaro would have about 80 strain, 80 attack, which is lower than Janet. Would have about 70 uh, defense and about 48 agility. Or in short, he would probably be almost as bad as Peter. Uh, Guyan is terrible for some reason. Um... I would have ex actually expected Guyane to be significantly better. But the interesting one is Sheila. So, robots are very similar to wolf barons and monsters in that they are already promoted unarmed fighters. Um, so there's no weapon involved. That's part of the reason why Sheila's attack is almost as high as Janet's, even though Sheila is four, level, four unproned levels off. So this would be the equivalent of 89 attack, probably a little bit higher actually because unpromoted. Probably more like 93. Um, that would be more like 69 hit points, that would be about 46 defense, that would be, or sorry, 46 agility, that would be about 67 defense. Sheila's not too bad, and maybe after a couple more levels we might actually want to bring her back in. So. It's an interesting prospect, but I'm not going to do it. Um, so, okay, we've got our tanks. What about other melee characters? So, we've got Bird Brains and Master Monks. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. So, um, 
Obviously, Kiwi is going to be way overpowered compared to everything else that we have by virtue of the fact that Kiwi's 20 unpromoted levels higher than everybody, or 16 higher than anybody who's not pre-promote. So if we take a look at Zinc, this would have been more like what Kiwi would have been without the extra promotion, which kind of makes sense. Um, Attack-wise, Zinc has about 80 attack. It's about 35 attack difference between the two, over 40 levels, that's about right. Um... Defense, 23 over 40 levels. That's actually a little on the low side. I have a hunch that Zinc is actually high defense. Uh, hit points is 32. Okay, yeah, that's probably pretty close. Defense is also 32. So yeah, I have a hunch that Zinc would have been the defensive Master Monk. Oh yeah, and MP is 40 off. Uh, that might actually be from leveling also. So anyway, Zinc would have been an interesting choice, and let's take a look at his spells. Um, he has Apollo 2, Freeze 3, Boost 2, and Blast 3. Zinc isn't really a healer. Uh, in fact, he only has a defensive ability and everything else is attack. In fact, we probably shouldn't be comparing Zinc on this list at all. Oh, um, something else I wanted to point out. Take a look at Karna's defense versus Bowie's. Man, I wish Bowie would have been a defense-based bird brain instead of a agility-based bird brain, except I don't think Bowie's actually agility-based. I think it's actually attack-based, looking at the stats. The reason why I say that is that, one, Bowie has lower agility than Karna, Bowie's one level higher, and promoted four levels later. Yeah, um, it might actually be like this. Hit points, okay, that's similar. Attack, uh, it's not that far off either. Anyway, Karna would have been a much better choice, but we are stuck with Bowie. Because we're stuck with Bowie, there's no reason for me to bring another bird brain in. And I call bird battlers, which is what BDBT stands for, bird brains for some reason. It's the way my brain interpreted it way back when I first started playing Shining Force 2. I have a lot of those weird things. So, as I was saying... We should probably be comparing the Master Monks to Vickers, Sorcerers, and Wizards instead. Oh, I just realized that you can't see the spells. Um, here, let's expand this a little bit. There we go. Okay. It's going to be important for these, because there's something I need to point out. Um... Once more, stat-wise, Jaha is going to be through the roof compared to everybody else other than Kiwi. Because, uh, yeah, once more, promoted at very high level. Um, Rick is pretty good stat-wise. If we compare Rick and Road, which, keep in mind, Road is basically the pre-promoted version of Rick. We notice that Rick has ungodly defense by comparison to Road. I mean, that's 13 higher... And the level difference is basically 5. Um, also, substantially higher agility. Attack is a wash. Not to mention, we don't care about attack on Vickers, really. The MP difference is huge, though. And that HP difference is pretty large, too. But that's not what we care about when it comes to mages. What we care about are these spells. And take a look at what Rhodes' new spell is. Rode actually has Aura, so Rode actually has Area of Effect Healing. That alone might be enough to make me want to use Rode instead. Um, his spells are generally worse than Rick's for offense. Um, they're substantially better for defense, but, you know, Aura, Boost, Egress, those are really good spells. If I still had Gerhalt in the party, I would absolutely be booting Gerhalt out for Rode right now. Um, else to point out on this, um, actually, I think Jaha hit Freeze 4, didn't he? Or Blaze 4? Yeah, it's Blaze 4. Now let's change the highlighting. Yeah, I'll consider it about the same as Apollo 2. Anyway, um... Jaha's awesome, I'm not going to boot Jaha out. Uh, Kiwi's awesome, I'm not going to boot Kiwi out. Rick is the least awesome of my healers. 
But if I was going to boot him out, the only person I would replace him with is Road. I'm thinking that I might want to add in Road and boot out somebody else. Oh, um, for comparison purposes, Gerhalt here now has Dao 2. Gerhalt's done. He will never get another spell. Um, Slow, Boost, and Dao are all maxed out at level 2. Egress maxes out at level 1. So Gerhalt, we know what Gerhalt's going to be for the entire rest of the game. There is no reason for us to use him. It makes me sad that I used the um, secret book on him. But there wasn't anybody else for me to use it on, uh, other than Jahan. I decided I didn't want to re-roll those spells. Maybe after we're done, I'll review, you know, what spells that we're going to have. Man, I'm glad that I linked the uh, timestamp down below for when I actually start playing, because I am talking a huge amount in this case. Um, other things to note. So, we have three people with ice base spells, or four people with ice base spells. This is very abnormal for Shining Force 2. Um, it's usually three at best and usually two. And one of those characters is so horrible that you should never consider using them. So, Freeze is not some, Freeze slash Neptune is not something we see very often. Whereas in this party, we're seeing it all the time. Oh yeah, I should remove that. Um, yeah, these, unless if we have a mage in the last two characters. <clears throat> mm. Ah, lungs were thirsty. Unless we have a mage in the last two characters, we're not seeing these spells this game. This is a shame. Atlas is an extremely powerful spell. Uh, it's the most powerful spell in the game, in fact. Um, Blast, we've got Blast slash Dao, we have represented in spades. Uh, Fire, we've got four representatives. Bolt, we have three representatives. Oh, and keep in mind, this isn't including our ninja or uh, Bowie. So we do have a little bit more than that. Uh, yeah, come to think of it, we have Bolt 4 sitting on Ninja, and we have Katon sitting on Bowie, so we actually have a fifth fire. Um, yeah, it's fairly balanced outside of the fact that we're missing these spells, and that these are very powerful spells. It hurts a bit. I would much rather see those than all the status effect spells that we have. Uh, speaking of status effect spells... Kiwi is basically a melee character that happens to have a couple of decent spells. I have no intention of treating Kiwi anywhere, anywhere else. Okay. So, uh, anything else I want to cover? Uh, oh, Claude is terrible as a wizard. Just... Yeah, Bolt and Apollo are really nice spells, don't get me wrong. Apollo 2 this early on is great. But, one... His MP is worse than most of the force. It's only marginally it's eight be, or it's twelve better than Zinc, but Zinc's also a master monk and is capable of fighting in a melee combat. Um, basically, strictly worse than Jaha at this point, because Blaze Four and Apollo Two are roughly equivalent in my mind. So yeah. So, not intending to use Claude at all. Not intending to use Zinc, just because, yes, Zinc has a nice attack, but that defense is terrible. And he doesn't have the MP or HP to back it up. The spells are interesting, but it's just that. It's just interesting. Um, Screech. Screech is missing two levels of spells at this point. Neptune 2 and Keton 3. Uh, Screech is not terrible. It's got a good balance of spells. But the problem is that hit points and that defense make him untenable to continue using, unfortunately. Road is tenable. The defense is terrible. Absolutely terrible. But Road is a healer, and healers rock. So yeah, if I were to boot somebody out, who would I boot out? Probably Freya. So Freya's defense is doing a lot better now. Um, he's no longer the worst of the party, he's just second worst. Oh no, I take that back. We have these two goobers as the worst of the party, and May. 
Okay, so Frey is better than the archers in Bowie, but that's not saying much. Um, attack is still a bit on the low side. Yeah, I think Freya would be the one that I'd be most likely to want to remove. And then throw in, uh, Rude. In fact, let's just do that. Road, cut. You're in force position 12. Insert cut. Freya, cut. You're in 23. Insert cut. This is our force now. Make a nice pretty border around our force. There we go. And reduce this. Put this back where it belongs. There we go. And we're done. All right. And I'll turn to Excel. Let's go ahead and assemble our party back together and then go for what I consider the hardest battle of the game. Um, now keep in mind, we intentionally have this edited. There is an aspect to this battle that I have specifically, actually, no, that would be fine, uh, that I specifically removed. And it is technically cheating, but also not really. And I'll explain when the battle starts. Oops. No, I don't want Kazin. Nobody wants Kazin. Kazin is a terrible character in this run of Archer Force 2. Also booting out Zinc. All right. Join. Uh, we have Slade. Kiwi. May. Luke. Road. That's weird to say. Brick. Randolph. Tyrin. And Janet. There we go. And that should be that I have a full force. Easy way to find out. Yep, I have a full force. Okay. Alright. Let's go. So, if you're just joining us from clicking on the thumbnail that said 23 minutes, hi. We're about to enter the hardest battle of the game. Uh, it's normally the hardest battle of the game. In this case, I actually don't know if this is going to be super hard or not. It might be harder. It will probably be less hard for me. My luck is terrible. And I will explain by heading over there. Told you, immediate battle. Now you shall pay for killing my precious prism flowers. Gush up again. You have another cunning trap for us? Would I do that? I just want to introduce you to my friend. Red Baron, say hello. He's waiting for you just inside the Gallum Gate. You have to defeat him if you want to advance. See his red armor? It's smeared with blood. He has killed many people. Now it's your turn. This'll be your undoing. Callum's just over there, but... My phone got unplugged. <laughs> and it's low on battery, to put it mildly. We have to advance. Bowie, are you ready? All right. So yes, we are in fact right next to Gallum. So if you go all the way over, that little passage immediately south of my cursor, that is the entrance to Gallum. We actually saw it from the other side of the map. 
way back at the start of the game. <sighs> so, let's review some of the new characters. So, as usual, the Executioners are now normal enemies. With lots of Bow Knights. There's three Bow Knights right here, along with a Hellhound. First off, these are the Pilot Swap Cerberi. Second off, they have 131 freaking attack. This is the way super difficulty works, is that the attack just start, starts going off the charts. Uh, who else do we got? Evil Bishop. Cast Wizard. We have a Minotaur. Minotaurs are worse than Hellhounds. 113, 51, 44... Yeah, they have two more defense. Also, four fewer hit points. There's... I really don't understand why they even bothered with the Minotaurs. Um, but more importantly, we have Red Baron. Red Baron is a boss. This is the first enemy that we encounter with question mark, question mark, hit points. Specifically, he has 150 hit points. Also, he has an interesting weapon equipped called the Dark Sword. Now, this is the part where I talk about the difference between Archer Force 2 and Shining Force 2. The Dark Sword in Shining Force 2, I can start doing things like spreading the word. Uh, yeah. Um, in Archer Force 2, the Dark Sword is a interesting weapon, and when you use it, ah, pellet swap vickers, what the hell is wrong with me? Jaha leveled up, who would have thought? Um, when you use it, it casts the spell Dis Diesel. It's an instant death attack. And because I was running this as a Nuzlocke, I had decided no instant death attacks. Because there's no way you can do anything about it. There's nothing you can do to prevent it. There's nothing you can do to resist it. And since Red Baron goes twice in a row... I have literally had a run of mine happen where Red Baron goes, immediately moves as far as he can, dispels, then immediately goes again, moves as far as he can, and dispels Bowie. I can't do anything about it. There's absolutely nothing. Because Red Baron has movement of what, six? Yeah, six. Uh, Twelve movement. And two instant death spells. Instant death is supposed to be a 40% chance from what I've been able to figure out. But instant death used on me, and this is the only battle in the game that it's used on us, um, seems to have a 100% chance of hitting. And I know it's just me. I've asked other people who play Shining Force 2, and they don't have the same experience with instant death that I do. So, okay. So what I did for the randomizer is that I randomized what spell effect comes out of that Dark Sword. I don't know if the AI is going to be smart enough to use it. I think they are, but I genuinely don't know. Um, the only stipulations that I had for what was going to be on that is that it had to be some type of offensive ability. It could be sleep as far as I know. It could be Neptune. I It could even be Atlas. Um, the thing is, is that I will be gaining that sword at the end of this battle. It is a guaranteed gain. So, whatever it is, I'll be able to use it as well. So it'll be interesting to see. It's possible that the AI is actually still using the Dark Sword with the use of Dispel or diesel, but I don't think it is. I'm pretty certain that it's actually just loading up the item. And if I'm right on that, that means that we may see a very interesting spell coming out of it. Or the AM may just never use it and just attack us, and we'll have to find out on our own. We'll find out either way. Oh, um, something else I wanted to point out. Man, road is slow. This. It looks like another secret village, doesn't it? What is your agility? 
Your agility is 60 at the moment. It's not that slow. Although your movement is terrible. Maybe I should equip... Rhodes movement should be 5, but forests. And Vickers lose elven movement for some weird reason. Okay. Um, everything is land effect 30 over here, so it doesn't matter where I stand. And there's no mages nearby. These have Muddle 2, which is obnoxious. I'll have Randolph be bait. Oh, there's another Minotaur down there. Cool. Ninja. Ooh, I am really tempted to do that. But I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to see if I can one-shot the bow rider. Bolt four, suckers! 75 damage. You see why bolt four is such an awesome spell? It's just... You're dead now. It's a range 3 attack that does way more damage than any archer can possibly do. And I am here for it. Slade actually has good defense, otherwise I wouldn't be doing this. Fortunately, we're going to be doing nothing in damage. Because everybody's standing on 30% terrain. Oh, actually, he's not. Explains why it actually did 22. Oh, Wolf Baron goes twice in a row. That's nice of them. Great. We should probably start working on... Or leveling. Can I get into a fat cross? No. Okay. So, this is what Aura looks like for reference. Notice it's very large area of effect even for Aura 1. Aura 1 has the same range as heal 3. It doesn't heal as much unless if you're needing to heal a bunch. So, it's an area effect heal. Which means it gives 25 XP, unlike the normal heal of 10. Characters with Aura level up very, very fast. Um, in the last game of Shining Force 2 that I played, vanilla Shining Force 2, not anything special. Um, that was the run that I did where nobody died. Uh, the pre-promoted Vicar that I had, which is actually Freya in vanilla Shining Force 2. Okay, this might hurt. <laughs> oh. And naturally, I have had two of my three healers already go. You dead already. You somehow dodged as a bronze gunner. Good job. What was I saying? Vanilla Shining Force 2. Um, oh, right. So Freya, who was my vicar in Vanilla Shining Force 2, by the time I reached the end of the game, Freya was level 81, I think it was. Okay, now are you dead? No, good. Hooray for boost. That's the only reason why I survived. Kiwi, help. Help. Yay. And level up. Oh, Kiwi has heal 40. Nice. I think that's... Yeah, that's actually the last spell Kiwi gets. I'm not complaining. Oh, so funny thing about heal 4. Uh, heal 4 and aura 4 cost the exact same amount of spell points. They're both full heals. The difference is aura 4 full heals your entire battlefield. Heal 4 heals one target right next to you. 
Heal 4 is garbage, but I don't exactly have a different spell. I'm still boosted. This is not useful. Just sit there. Ninja. 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 Level up the ninja. I mean, Luke's not getting any more of anything, and he's also out of spell points, but... Hey, last time I didn't use Luke's spell points, even though I wanted to. This time I don't need to. Okay. Bow Knight. You can reach a Bow Knight yourself, or a Bow Rider. Only 11. Ugh. This is where Archer Force 2 is going to start hurting a hell of a lot. Because my snipers aren't strong enough. Also, this one's... That... I didn't equip him with a weapon. Um, When was my last autosave? Uh, that's pretty far back. Give me a moment. Let me undo the... Uh, menu. Click menu. Undo load, load state. I'll just eat the mistake. I could have actually attacked, and that's my fault. Oh. I'm a fool. Need to take out the Hellhound as fast as possible. That's as fast as possible, but we leveled up. Nice. Unfortunately, it means that I can't reach anybody because of the stupid forest. Ah. And I still can't heal anybody. Cool. Okay. I think I might be able to... Yeah, probably not. And that one's completely... Un no, it's not uninjured. I have one at 30 and one at 31. Okay, and they're both on heavy terrain. Oh, two attacks will do it, though. Okay, good job, Randolph. I have to deal with one bow rider, and they're going after Slade. I'm fine. Like Slade would almost be able to take a double hit on that, so. And that'll give me time to heal. You know, if I could ever reach anybody. I am going to spend a lot of time a lot of time getting out of the stupid forest, aren't I? Okay, double check location. They're pretty far away. That would be my next enemy. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's still pretty far away, okay. Okay, let's reform up where, you know, characters in the back could actually do something. Yes, own. All right, I am now in muddle range, so I'm going to get out of range. I was going to do that anyway, but whatever. You can barely see Zone Kitty in the corner. See his tail. Uh, Randolph, you're going to move back for a little bit. Because, one, if you can't tell, Randolph doesn't have terrain effect for reducing his speed. It's one of the advantages of being a Wolf Baron, even if his normal speed's low. He can move through anything. Um. Uh. 
I mean, the downside with Aura is that uh, I only have Aura 1. Aura 1 doesn't heal all that much. But sometimes people only need 18 hit points. There we go. Time to preach. 35 XP. See what I mean by the area of effect, uh, the range of heal four? It's such garbage. Just making sure nobody else is injured. It's apparently crazy cat hour time. So Kiwi's actually done with spells at this point. But on the plus side, Kiwi is an unstoppable force of power, and I'm not as concerned about that. Okay. Your movement is five. One, two, three, four, five. If it doesn't have any terrain slowdown, I'm going to be attacked. And if it does, I'm not going to be attacked at all. I'm going to make the wild assumption that it does. Also, no, not give, equip, a weapon, and the power ring. In fact, use the power ring. Wish you could use it on yourself, but... Uh, go ahead and Chester. Slade, you know what? Stay there. That's actually fine. Two, three, four, five, six. You're still not in range. Got it. Randolph, you can go back to the front now. Road. Just sit there. Look pretty. Uh, I need to check you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I don't think you can reach much with a muddle. I didn't mean to move Janet back that far. Okay, I was right. You are being affected by terrain. Minotaur. It's the first time seeing this pallet, if I remember right. We haven't fought a normal Minotaur before, or anything resembling one. I still remember, Minotaurs are unique, actually. Alright, now we get to look at Tyrin, who looks like every other sniper. We only have two palettes for snipers, by the way. It's pink and green. Um, blue palette is only for brass gunners. Um, we've got a lethal force sitting right here. What is it, Zone? What are you doing, kitty? Uh, we can finish them off with a Minotaur. I don't want to. Okay, that was a terrible idea. Let's not do that. <laughs> I'm just going to... Put Luke there for now. Yep, Slade can finish him off, that's fine. Slade's leveled up. I got plus one attack and plus two defense, that's not too bad. Nobody's injured, so. Road, you can go heal that area, I guess. Give you 15 XP? Oh, 25. Right. Um, Rick. Also heal. Bowie. 
you're going to hang back over here for now. I'm going to ask you to move up very slightly, Randolph. That works, I guess. Uh-oh. I didn't think I was in range. Oh, you're belching out flames. We're fine. Even if that was a crit for 32, that's a lot lower than the Hellhound's attack. Hellhound would probably one-shot. So yeah, I've actually had a fairly good day today. Um, paid off my student loans today, so that's fun. Um... I think most of them are still boosted, aren't they? So these three are not boosted. And this Kiwi. Which means... That is actually fairly optimal. Kiwi! Kiwi! Hail! Yeah, heal Randolph. Tyron, it's time to start picking on some people. Yeah, go after the Mist Demon. Chester, you also go after the Mist Demon. The reason why I'm going after the Mist Demon is that one, easier defense, or lower defense, and two, further away. Party. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, paid off my student loans today. That felt really nice. Um, and I took a vacation day today, for reference. Uh, today is uh, Wednesday, for reference. Uh, it's the 8th? Is that a Wednesday? Yeah, it's the 8th. are going to fly down there, apparently. Ah, I can heat axe. I hit you for five, but smoke rose from the heat axe. It needs repair. Heat axe is not a very good weapon, but you know what? It did something. Snip the hellhound, please. Um, so yeah, I spent a good chunk of the day cleaning. Boom. Boom. Okay. I don't think anybody needs healing with it by range, do they? No. Um, spent the day cleaning, watching, uh, create her place. Okay. By the way, if you're watching this and you're not watching my partner play Nerim, you should do that. Outside of the constant frustrations over Crashy Computer, it's a fun watch. Uh, it's also very heavily German. And some of the translations in the subtitles are interesting. Definitely tell... I mean, Nerim is a... Four, five, six... It's a total conversion modification for Oblivion. And, well... Unfortunately for it, Oblivion is not the most stable platform to begin with, but um, more importantly, it's a bit dated. Um, the next game in the series, so Nerim's the third game in the series. The next game in the series is Enderall, which is a total conversion mod for Skyrim. Enderall is a great game. I highly recommend it. There's no, like, I recommend it if you like this. That No, it's actually a really good game. The downside with it, and is it Chester's actually the one that got injured then? I thought it was May. Yeah, it's Chester, okay. Um, the downside with Nerim, or the downside with Enderall is that it's a very dark game, and I couldn't deal with that, so I haven't played much of it, which is a shame, because it's a really good game. 
Um, what else? We're doing our time. 50 minutes already. This is what I get for ranting for 30 minutes. Um, just seed yourself. Because you're in range of healers now. Oh. Crap. Well, luckily that's probably the only thing that can hit Randolph. There is a Vicar right there. Uh, no, it's not the only thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Probably can't hit Randolph. Well... It's that, or I freeze three. Now I am going to do the right thing and heal Rand. Oh, I don't even need to be that close. Keep forgetting, Aura is awesome. Wish I would be able to hit both, but that would require Aura two or greater. There you go, have some more hit points. Uh, you're definitely not going to be in range. Booey. Uh, this might be a bad idea. That's fine. You fool. Oh no, you've silenced Kiwi. Here, take a counterattack that's a third of your hit points from a mage. You attack Luke, and you belched out flames. Okay. Belching out flames is really my only saving grace, because those things are powerful. Let's start snipping down the Hellhound. Actually, let's take out the Chaos Wizard as well. There we go. Poor Janet is just in the wrong spot. Okay, you're hitting me blast three. I mean, that's annoying, but it's nothing I can't handle. Kiwi, make them pay. And still silenced. That sucks. Ducks? That sucks. Uh, I believe we need to preach the good word. Yeah, a couple of them were from the original boost, but that's fine. Uh, ninja time. Ninja the Hellhound. Uh, yeah, we can brass gunner the Hellhound. Has five hit points left. Good to know. Um, Bowie, you should actually go after the evil bishop. Chester, you can bow into the hell happened to death. Alright, level. Uh, no attack increase again. It's been several levels since I've had an attack increase on that character, isn't it? Hasn't it? Yeah, power up, blue. Uh, it's cracked, okay. I'm gonna need to do a bunch of repairs, but that's fine. Uh... Heal Randolph. Finally have a Baron in the area. Get the snip out of the forest. Yeah, evil bishops can aura themselves. That's fine. I mean, I can do that too if you really want me to. But instead, um, oh, I thought Slade. Oh, right. It's Luke that's injured. Not Slade. So in that case, I will go. I don't think it matters, actually. I'll go there anyway. Um. By the way, in case you're wondering, I talk a lot more when I'm playing this game for recording than I do normally. I'm normally completely silent when I play strategy RPGs. 
better or worse. Yay, level up. Twos and one agility. That's fine. Although this is the point of the game where our weapon users are going to get a huge boost in health. All right, Kiwi, just heal one yourself. It'll be fine. Oh, right, I'm silenced. Oh, doesn't matter. Don't. Janet will finally be toward the front. Uh, we do still have two mages left. I think they've now woken up. Can't resist. Or yourself! Heal everybody! 19, 2, 2, 1, 2, 1, and boost 2, because, you know, why have boost 1 when you can have boost 2? Copy. Paste. Oh, also, that should be a better highlight. That's probably like that. Heal 4 and Aura 1 are roughly comparable on what I like. That's sad, but true. Uh, but we should probably stay back there. So what I'm going to do is try to get that everybody closer. Oh, good. You're no longer silenced. That's helpful. All right. Are you actually going to come any closer? Could theoretically just sit here and boost forever. I mean, Jaha is just going to get... Oh, Jaha has freeze four. That's great. <sighs> because Jaha really needed more power. Um, Yeah, that's going to be a new color of highlight. There we go. I know you all can't see my spells anymore, but... Okay. Somebody's still injured, aren't they? Luke is barely injured. Randolph has a minor injury. I'll go heal Randolph. Why not? Okay, we're moving forward. Down four, it looks like. Yeah, you're awake now. Good. You're just gonna hang out there. You're gonna hang out there. And we're going to sit still and pretty for a bit. We're being a little careful because I don't know what Red Baron can do to us. And Red Baron wakes up in a very sudden manner. I mean, while D-Soul is obviously going to be the nastiest thing to us, sleep would still be extremely nasty. Um, Muddle 2 could be nasty, although not that nasty. Uh, we haven't woken up that Hellhound. 
Have we woken up the Bow Knight, at least? No. Well, crap. I'm gonna move down two. Baron hasn't woken up. Oh, Knight has. Okay, good. Wanted somebody awake, darn it. Spread some word around. Who can I hit the most number of targets with? That's all but five. All but four. All but four. All but four. Basically boils down to which ones do I want to hit. Honestly, I don't need to hit the ones up above. We're gonna go with that. Ah, uh, yeah. Kiwi smudge. I know Kiwi's only gonna get one XP for things, but that's fine. Nice double hit. Not getting much in the way of XP, though, unfortunately. Ninja. I don't have any MP. I need to remember that. Um, honestly, just move closer. sure it does. I'm gonna save and do it anyway. Boss battle and Tyrion needs some XP. Point twenty-five though. hurts right here. I'm sorry, Chester. You deserve better. Uh, my phone's almost full. Janet, you finally get to attack this game for this battle. First time we've seen an axe used at all. Another nice thing about Aura is that I can reach things that I wouldn't normally be able to. That would kill it. I don't want Jaha to kill it. Jaha, how about you just stay back? I also don't want Kiwi to kill it. Uh, is there anybody injured? Yes, Chester is still injured. That's overkill. Yep. 
I mean, there's very few uses for heal four, to be honest. Um, well, there'll be even fewer if I ever get aura four, but given that I just now have aura one, I'm not expecting that level to be anytime soon. Um... What's my force levels look like? I still have some 18s. Although, as a 19, that's not the worst thing. Yeah, it's great. tell if actually on the move or not. Let's make fun of the Minotaur. Tee hee hee, you have horns. Ooh, level up. No attack. Just gonna throw Bowie way over there. You are not awake yet. Well, let's do some more wake up. I could use Heat Axe destroying it and take out that Minotaur. It sounds like a terrible plan, but I could do it. I'm gonna sit there instead. So many email coming in. It's almost as though I posted about the fact that I paid off my student loans. Uh, let's see. Road, you're almost out of MP. Not too surprising. Road's a little low on MP for a for a character. Ooh, axe on axe action. Ow. Ooh, and it actually needs healing. Wasn't expecting that. Yep, let's boost expiration time. Well, it's a good thing Kiwi's here. Down 37, that's how much heal three heals, so. Ooh, level 22, HP 2, MP 1, attack, defense, ability. Two. Yeah, because that's right, because Kiwi doesn't get any more spells. Boint. Let's hit with my Boint. 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 They keep actually being in the correct area of effect for a nice, um, whatchamacallit, uh, why am I having problems with the thoughts and the stuff? We can the Chaos Wizard, please. Uh, area of effect for Bolt. I went the entire last battle without being able to use that effectively, and this battle, it's all over the place. I don't get it. Die, please. Death did. Yay, death did. Tyrant leveled up. HP 2. Defense 1. What is it with archers and not actually going up on attack? Oh boy, are you awake. Attack. Okay, I can take that hit. That's what Red Baron looks like, by the way. Also, attack... Okay. I will punish that Chaos Wizard then. I can't reach anybody. Goodbye, Chaos Wizard. Hello, level up for me. No. Wow, May was that far behind. Okay, which means... Gank Healer. There's a boss there. Gank the Healer.
Red Baron versus a Baron dressed in red. All right, what's the spell? It was Triton! Also, the game's not supposed to... Um, you have... 24 hit points left. Did you just hit yourself with that? <laughs> I need to check. Oh, my load is further back. Let me undo the load state. I am so glad I found out that I can undo load state. So, um, in the game normally, there's no enemy in the game that can use a summon spell. So that's the reason why it appears on the right side, even though the enemy's on the left side. And if they were summoning it, it should be appearing on the left side. All they had to do was mirror image it, but since that was never a thing that, that should be able to be done, it doesn't matter. You're down 21. I thought it said Slade took 24 damage. I'm going to have to review the video afterward. Uh, you still can't reach anything that's injured, can you? No, you can't. Sorry, Rude. Yep, heal yourself. Spread the word to us all. Actually, spread the word like that. Even though it hits fewer people, I really want Slade boosted. And while you're at it, Slade, how about you get healed? Going after Randolph with an attack. 31. Second attack. Heavy attack, 35. Randolph counter for 14. Great. Shoot the healer. Gank healer. Gank healer. Stupid forest. Gank healer. Gank healer. Level 21, HP 2, MP 2. Now it's going up by 2, okay. Ninja. Thump. Two attacks. Red Baron counter. Heavy attack for 21. Ugh, not great. Still can't reach anybody. All right. Randolph should be dead from this. It's just not doing anything. Well, that's definitely not intentional. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to have to change my randomizer to make sure it's an effect that actually works. Because that was definitely not intentional. <laughs> well, I just made this battle a whole heck of a lot easier. Do you see how, like, an instant death attack twice in a row like that would cause major mayhem? Um, I'm actually going to have Randolph back out. Get our final aura off. Let's boost more of the party. Center on Kiwi is going to be ideal. And level up again. Plus one MP. Bolt three. All right. Bolt 3 is the useful bolt. Bolt 4 is the awesome bolt. Is the Usain bolt. Oh, that should be a darker. There we go. 
Okay. Um, I think Bowie can safely attack. Uh, yeah, but we can kill them. Sir Astral, he's crying? Why would he be crying? Hmm, I think I've seen his f style of fighting before. Let's see his face. Astral removes the mask. Huh? It's Lemon! Remember way back, way back at the start, I had pointed out the fact that all of the characters that are, you know, PCs have all caps. We haven't heard from Lemon since way back at the start of the game, where he begged you, begged to not have to use his sword anymore. Lemon is the holder of the Dark Sword. Lemon is the big spoiler of Shining Force 2. Well, one of them. We've got one more. Let me see him. Whoa, he's live? Lemon! Lemon! Where? What? Oh, Sir Astral, I had an awful nightmare. I was controlled by someone, and I killed a lot of... It wasn't a dream. What? You were being controlled by a devil, and he made you kill every person that you saw. You recovered your senses when we defeated the devils. I can't believe it! I'm Lemon! I'm... What can I... Do. How can I atone for my sins? Sir Ashtol, tell me. You're not at fault. It's not your fault. The devils are to blame. But... <laughs> I have to die for my sins! It will be my atonement! I have to die! Oh, poor Lemon. Sir Astral, Lemon's fled. Will you let him die? Uh, Lemon's an immortal vampire now. He... Oh, I'm sorry. Lemon's an immortal vampire now. You can't die very easily. I think we'll meet him again. But we let's go. And that's it for this episode of... Well... Nuzlocke Force 2. Or Archer Force 2. Yeah, it's long since been Nuzlocke. I mean, have anybody died that battle? That's very abnormal for me. All right, I'm gonna save, stop, and probably start right back up again because we've got a long video next, I think. Ta-ta for now, bye.